War is expensive in so many ways. The high cost of lives lost, the social problems, and also personal finance. There's so many businesses in Israel today that are on the verge or going through bankruptcy. So let me tell you a story about wartime bankruptcy. The tourist industry in Israel is pretty big. There's a lot of companies that deal with uh, moving logistics, moving people around the country. Pretty good business with plenty to go around. You can buy a car, you start uh, driving it yourself. You make enough money to buy another car. Your son drives that one. You you quickly expand. You have eight cars and, and 10 different drivers that work for you. And everything's going fine. And then COVID hits and there's no tourists in the country and your business takes a big dip. You barely make it out. You have to sell some cars, but you kind of stay afloat and you move forward. You build yourself back up. You think everything's going to work out. You buy extra cars, you hire extra people, and then the war starts. And you're back at it again, the second time in just two years. And this time is going to end up being even bigger than before. You start selling your cars and you start having to let people go. Just three months into the war and you've already had to sell off four of your cars. The government does offer support for small businesses, but you don't qualify because when they look at your bank statement, they see that money is coming in. But it's not money that you've made from clients, it's money from selling the cars. And you're still paying your car note, your house, and all the rest of your bills. At this rate, in a few months, you might not have any cars and you don't know what to do with yourself because all you've done professionally is drive cars. And this is just one example of one industry. There's so many businesses in Israel today that are on the verge of bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is a family debt and it's one of those things that can really mess people up. It messes with you psychologically, it affects your self-esteem. Actually, bankruptcy and family debt is one of the leading factors in divorces. Another industry that's taking a big hit is IT and consulting specifically. If you're a consultant and you work with startups, and those startups can't continue working because of the situation in the country. And a lot of the people, 300,000 people left all kinds of different industries and went in as reserves for the army. So the marketplace has thinned out substantially. And as a consultant, you're working for these companies. These are your clients that can't pay you because they don't have anybody to work for them. Luckily, there's a bankruptcy lawyer that's decided to open up a nonprofit to help people go into bankruptcy. That consultant that lost all of his clients, he was on the verge of bankruptcy. He came to this nonprofit because he needed help and they took on his case and they straightened things out and they helped him through this process. And now he has partnered as a consultant for this nonprofit to help others. I know all of this because I interviewed these people and I shot a story about them. And in my interview with the consultant, here's something that he said that was very touching and I think is the takeaway for all of us in all of this crazy situation. He said that because of the situation and the bankruptcy, his flame was about to go out. And this nonprofit and the lawyer helping him out revived him and all he can do now is take that flame and pass it on to others who are about to be extinguished so bankruptcy and all people in israel are looking for ways to move forward and it always helps when there's somebody to turn to the reason i tell these stories is it's not to complain complaining doesn't solve anything i'm trying to pass on the flame these people are very inspirational to me personally they're inspirational to people that hear their stories and i want to pass it on to you so thanks for sticking around and listening to the story Come back tomorrow, I'll tell you another one.